Hey gamers, I am Zero Kimchi, your source for Android emulation news and gameplays. Welcome to my channel. I bring you this video to announce that the recent CMU update by Simco has successfully resolved two prominent issues, the contrast bug and the bug that clears the input mappings on Exit when using the Pro Controller type. Additionally, several new features have been implemented to the emulator. Now please note that this Android port is currently experimental and not official until it is merged to the main repository of the official project. There are still several issues that need to be addressed, including support for certain Snapdragon devices and MediaTek devices. Additionally, some games may not boot properly and exhibit graphical glitches. It is expected that these issues will be resolved over time. That said, let's go check out the new build. As always, when opening up CMU, you'll be greeted with a keyboard popping up and the search bar active. Hopefully they'll fix this soon too. In the settings menu, you'll see a new entry, Open CMU folder. Tapping on it triggers a prompt asking which file manager to use. However, in my case, it only presents the option to open the code and editor applets of Mi Explorer. This may suggest that the feature is not yet fully complete. Moving on to graphic settings. We see that several new options have been added. Full screen scaling with keep aspect ratio and stretch as options. Upscale filter with bilinear, bicubic, hermite, I never heard of this one before, and nearest neighbor. Lastly, downscale filter with the same option as upscale filter. Now let's showcase some games. As you can see with The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, the contrast is much more pleasant. Here's a little fragment of before. As you can see with the Ultimate Spider-Man 2, dark areas are completely visible now. Looks like the guy who killed Uncle Ben. But I'm not sure. I need to get some pictures of him. Let's get a good look at this guy's ugly face. Just the image I wanted. That's not who I'm after. I've got a bad feeling. Down! 
Lord! Come on, get me down from here! Quiet! Let me see your hands. And now, I've got the pleasure to show you some amazing footage by Moonlacer. In this footage, he showcases how the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild performs on the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 using the latest top-of-the-line Red Magic 9 Pro. Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. The beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Now 
now then. You must hurry, Link. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze performs exceptionally well, except, well, the obvious. Next we got Need for Speed Most Wanted, which holds on its own, Un until a bit later, it crashes. And that's it for today's video. I have tested a few other games such as Splinter Cell Blacklist, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and Watch Dogs, but was unsuccessful at getting them to work.
Hopefully with more development we get to see more games booting, performance uplifts, more device support and more features. Let me know what you think and what I should test next in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.